As you can imagine, neighbors on edge tonight after Woody's mad dash from McDonald's brought him right outside their doorsteps. News Channel 3's Adriana Doria joins us from the Roosevelt Avenue area. And Adriana, some neighbors there had quite the wake up call. Martina, the community here and neighbors here are left shaken up thinking about the fact that something like this could happen right outside their doors. Now, I got a chance to talk with some of the neighbors here, specifically a couple who had a terrifying way to wake up. A neighborhood left on edge after a violent crime spree Wednesday morning. We're just utter disbelief right now. Just total shock. And a terrifying wake-up call for neighbors like Jeff and Jennifer Wright, who received an unexpected knock on their door. You know, you're half asleep, you're just waking up, and you don't expect to find your neighbor at your door covered in blood and having been violently attacked in your own neighborhood. It's pretty scary. Totally on edge. The fact that that could happen in, in a split second to someone in the neighborhood is just unbelievable. Jennifer is a nurse and says the victim knew she worked in the medical field, so she came to her door seeking her help. She says she expects to see things like this while she's at work, not right outside her doorstep. Something like that, that traumatic um, coming to your door is, you know, it's just unthinkable to think that, you know, we walk in this neighborhood and that could just happen anytime. So it's yeah. scary. Police say Percy Woody cut three people with a box cutter at a nearby McDonald's before making his way to Roosevelt Avenue, where he cut another woman outside of her home at random. It's a scene the Wrights say is not normal for the area. I mean, the thought that my wife or kids could have been out going to, you know, my wife could have been going to work, taking my kids to school, um, and something like that could have happened uh, is just uh, unfathomable. The rights are left worrying for their family and questioning their daily routines. And it could have been me walking out to my car to get in my car and get to work. So it's, it makes you think and it makes you, you know, want to just be on alert all the time um, at, at what could happen just out of the blue for no reason. Martina, just a scary situation here for neighbors. Now, police say that those four victims that were cut in this incident are suffering non-life-threatening injuries and are still in the hospital. And neighbors say they're just glad to hear that those victims are expected to be okay. Okay, Adriana, thank you for that.